Ethan, congratulations on a great night and a big win. Is there starting to be like a battle between you and JT? Who's going to end up with the most points game after game? At the end, when we actually got taken out, he came up to me and uh, asked how many I had. And <laughs> when we when we went in on that one more man up at the end, he was like, I'll oh, keep us in. Like, let's tie. Let's try to stay even here. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, we talk about it sometimes. But it's, it's a good competition. We, it pushes us to do better. We push each other. So it pushes the team as well. Yeah, no doubt about that. And obviously the way that you guys are playing, can you take me through, because we haven't talked to you about it yet, but what you guys went through at the beginning of the year with that 0-5 start, again, against really good competition, but to battle back to this point and now get back to 6-6, six and six, what does it mean to the guys in the locker room? I mean, early on, we just didn't have too much productivity all around. Uh, teams are figuring out that it was all our midfield that we were coming through. So when Coach put some of our midfielders at X and at attack so we can get a little more initiation from behind and get the ball flowing from all aspects of the field it really like it turned and worked well for our offense and ever since we started getting rolling we kept us behind at uh, attack me and Tatum and it's just been a great great second half of the season for us and we're really just trying to take advantage of it how much confidence do you guys have right now you beat a couple of really good teams in this stretch um, after that tough start of the season you've done the thing that we expected you to do in conference play now that you've gotten into that how much confidence do you guys have a team as we go towards the back end of conference play uh we felt good coming into conference play i mean we were going on a quick uh, little heater there uh we just we just know our conference is it's normally a difficult team diff a lot of difficult teams that we play so um just going into it, we can't treat any team lightly we just got to keep grinding away and just keep putting up points all right, well, tell me about the behind the backer. Tell me about that one, because I'm trying to figure out a way to make it a Sports Center top 10 tonight, something like that. That was a lot of fun. I, uh, I saw the opportunity on the crease. We had just ran a play to JT, and it worked for him. So I was like, I'll call my own number. Let's see if it'll work <laughs> here. And uh, it paid off. I was losing angle, and the goalie was holding that pipe. So I just felt last thing, I could, last option, just put it behind the back. That's exactly how I felt. I'm like, man, he does not have an angle. Get a shot. Oh, he does. How about that? Well, that was a lot of fun. How many of those have you had now? How many? Behind the backs, uh, I think one this season, but two career. Yeah. All right. All right. So you can, it's it's in the repertoire. Yeah, we're, we're trying to keep it crafty. Okay. Hey, uh, Ethan, congratulations on a great night and a big win. Thanks for coming up to hang out Thank with you. us. I appreciate it. He is Ethan Christensen joining us here on the All Access Post Game Show after Stevenson gets a 22 7 victory here tonight over Messiah. Five goals and five assists for Ethan, including that spectacular behind the back goal back in the first half. That was a lot of fun.